Somewhere between space and time, there is a place, the Archive of Awesome, an ancient vault that guards the most amazing stories and myths. Each book, a magical gateway to the paperverse. Let me take you on a journey through the seven masterpieces. It's time to return to games. That was a nice intro. Hello everyone and welcome to Book of Demons. I saw this game on Steam today and I thought it was fascinating so I wanted to give it a shot and I thought I would bring you along on the journey. Now let's see, Book of Demons. And this is Book of Aliens, oh that's in production. Oh I see, so you can get each of those and they would just fill this out here. Huh. That's cool. That's actually really neat. I like this integration. I'm sure it's existed before, but I, something about it I really quite like. Um, okay, so Book of Demons. Left click to start, right click for options. I'm right clicking. I'm not getting any options. Actually, I'm curious about options here. Yeah, that's all good. Ah, oh, boss came and not focus, that's quite cool. That's always helpful. Alright. Oh, I have to click there, that's why. Ah, the Book of Demons. A truly grim story in our collection. Not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home. Only to find everything different than remembered. A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell, devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. Ah, the ultimate evil has awoken. Adventure. Darkness. Horrors. <laughs> All of these await below. Good luck. After hit by a charging monster, quickly click on that tilted cards to fix them. Hmm. So the uh, in the cutscene there, when the arm fell off of that skeleton, that reminded me of uh, Bender from Futurama when he literally poops bricks. Main challenge. Play a short randomized game to test your skills and compete on leaderboards. So this game is really, sounds really quite good. Good, I'm so far well impressed. Reach level 5 with Warrior to unlock. This takes about 20 minutes. Reach level 5 20 minutes. Okay, so Warrior. Choose Warrior slot. Okay. Can I change? Oh, Rogue. I Okay, right. Okay, that answers that question. So once I play Warrior for 20 minutes or get level 5, it'll unlock both of those, which is useful. Create character. Character name, Ulf. That was quite nice, actually. I'll go stick with my usual character name. Shadow Sword. Grants an extra attack against additional opponent in range. Throws toxic bombs around you that poison monsters, damaging them over time. And deals massive damage and stuns a single enemy. All good. A mighty adventurer that believes in the brute power of steel. He is proficient in all kinds of weapons and armors. You can sometimes spot a little madness in his eyes when he's charging a large group of monsters. Exciting. So for difficulty, uh, I normally like ca normal, not casual. <laughs> we'll go with normal. Super hot mode. Enable super hot mode in which time moves only when you move. Ah, super hot mode together with iconic white and red filter can be both enabled or disabled later in options. That's really interesting that they've included that mode here. 
Let's see how this is different. Best if you prefer a more relaxed play or are new to dungeon crawlers, which I am not. Cards drop in a random order that allows you to counter enemies' abilities. Combat mechanics are more forgiving. Healing is easier. Can get more challenging after completing the main campaign. You can change this mode normally any time. No leaderboard. So normal has a leaderboard. Cards drop in random order. Uh, can get challenging due to the main campaign. You can change the mode casually at a time. First death leaderboard eligible. Huh. Interesting. Speedrun to cook motherboard eligible okay not really interested in either either of those totally random card drop order huh so this is not totally random pseudo random limited healing fountains don't refill amulets don't work outside combat resurrection and healing in town costs increasing amounts of gold Without goal to resurrect character dies permanently, this game mode can't be changed here in the game. First death leader will... Okay, okay, okay. No, nope, not doing roguelike. Let's stick with normal. I want to try out the super hot mode at some point as well. This or... Oh, man. Okay, so I guess I can click on her. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you after all this time. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Back then, it was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. Okay. I really like the voice acting there at least, that was really very good. Well impressed. Okay, so I can talk to Barmaid. Oh, Barmaid doesn't have a name. That's a bit disappointing. Uh, Magical Cauldron. This option is not available yet. Gossip. Golden Key. We need 25k gold, I guess. Oh, so there are seven gossips. What's this? Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you ah, after okay, all so this time. That's what we've already listened to. So she suggested talking to the sage. Oh my god. This is totally Diablo. I mean, I recognize a lot of these things. There's the, um, uh, the church in the distance. And it had all these little huts. And it usually had one of these things as well. And there is a barmaid in there usually as well, from what I remember. Certainly in the first act which, uh, well, at least in Diablo 3, is Tristram. What was it in... Uh, it was near Tristram in uh, the second one as well, Al although I haven't played the first one. Well, I have. I started it, but I didn't get very far. Your arrival brings hope to my Sounds like heart. Beckett Kane. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know. <laughs> uh, but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. I do not know what caused such desecration of that holy place. That enigma is yet to be solved. Uh, and you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. Okay, I'm getting a very, very strong Diablo vibes. This sage, the sage sounds very much, well, certainly when he started speaking, like Deckard Cain as well from the Diablos. Stay a while and listen from the Diablo games. This orb contains your hearts. <laughs> Once you lose all your hearts, you die. So pay attention. Okay, that's quite cool. This orb contains your blue and green mana. 
Oh, okay, blue mana. Casting spells costs blue mana. There are many ways to replenish it. The usual. Equipping artifact cards converts blue mana to green mana. Green mana can't be used for casting, but it will change green to blue once you equip the artifact cards. Okay. Show character cards panel. You have no unidentified cards. Okay. Okay, so I guess what I'm supposed to do now is go to the church. Okay, the cook. Oh my god, that is the cook. I, there is a cook in Diablo 3, I think. <laughs> right, so right at the bottom. So that is very much Diablo as well. So. Diablo is at the end of the run. Monster unmet, some left. Monster unmet, monster, a couple left, okay. So wait, a couple left, some left. But this is one, but there's two there. That would suggest that there is, there are fewer here than there, but not according to the words. Let's see. <laughs> Book of Demons uses uh, different me uh, uses mechanics different from other hack and slash games. If you're playing for the first time, pay attention to the tutorial so that you can have the best possible experience. Good luck in the paper dungeons. No problem. Oh, that's nice. I like the. Uh, oh I my God! This is totally Diablo. Splits darkness. Uh, click anywhere to move, click behind or on your character to stop. Your character will stop at intersections. Okay. That's quite cool. Okay, so he keeps walking. That's actually really helpful, I think. You can interact with objects in your light radius. Okay. So will he just keep going? Oh. Huh, look at the footsteps too. Okay, I don't have to go all the way over there to interact with them. That's interesting. Oh, I just, I can stick, I should stick to the path. That actually makes it a lot easier to deal with. Wait, 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 wait. And he automatically attacked? Interesting. Click to choose a target, your character auto attacks. Interesting. Auto attack is slow, each hit damages one heart. Click or click and hold on target to attack faster. When engaged with monsters, click and hold to retreat. Okay, so that's just usual, <laughs> I'm gonna call it Diablo mechanics. Okay, so let me, okay, okay. Okay, that's very much, okay, I'm comfortable with those mechanics. What do we have here? And I don't actually need to be right up next to them, even though I am a warrior to attack them. That's interesting. That was not the case in, uh, in, in Diablo. When you're a warrior in Diablo, you have to be right up close and personal if you're doing melee. Icons on the top represent points of interest on this level. The icon is revealed when you're getting near. Okay, so we have a chest. You walked by the price but didn't collect it. Really? Did I miss it or are we talking about this one? Okay, you have collected the price. Okay, fine. Mighty Blow deals massive damage and stuns the target. Uh, spell cards consume mana when used, can, only be, can be used only if you're targeting enemy unit. Okay. You can use the card by clicking, by right clicking it or by pressing the card. Okay. View your cards by pressing I or using the button in the bottom right corner, usual inventory button. Rearrange cards between your card panels and slots by clicking or dragging them. Okay. Use cards and slots with right click or zero to nine keys to unlock more card slots visit the sage in town. Okay. So. I thought that the cards would go in here. Uh, left. Okay. So that's just keyboard one, two, three, fine. F 
Spain. Oh, okay. So deals massive damage and stuns the target. Quest target, fine. I'm just gonna walk on there to see what that's about. Heart points are your life. If you lose them all, you will die. Your heart points don't auto regenerate. Use fountains and cards. Oh, that's totally Diablo look there. To recover health, you can always go back to the town and be healed by the healer. Also, very much a Diablo. Uh, mechanic as the shepherd watches over his flock so shall i care for those who seek to protect us get into my light square to my light sphere it's, it's so weird that i can't um i can't walk onto the uh, off the footpath i'm totally not used to that <laughs> Oops, there was some dude there. Adept Bone Collector. wonder what that was for. I forgot that these battles can... I see that the sanctity of this place has been found. Level up. Nice. New gossip in town. Okay, that's interesting too. Kill monsters and gain experience points. Level up. Each time you level up all monsters, lose one heart. That's fascinating! Each time you level up, all monsters lose one heart. In just this level or all levels? Every level gives you one point which can be added to your hearts or used to boost your mana. Okay. That's a really interesting mechanic. Click. What to leave immediately? Uh, I missed that last bit. Ah, okay, there. Skeleton warrior, a couple. Oh, right. So this is telling me that there are two different types of enemies and there are a couple of skeleton warriors left and a couple of whatever monster that is left. Okay. I now understand. Zombies and some of the monsters have poisoned hearts. On death, zombies explode with a shockwave that poisons everyone around. Lethally poisoned monsters are marked with a skull. Zombies cannot be poisoned. They are healed instead. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, so I gotta stay as far away from them as possible. Okay, it looks like that's the way out of here. But I want to check the other side as well. Because you gotta check out the whole dungeon. Uh-oh. Helmut Hawkeye. Bosses are tough to defeat. Each one has multiple stages. The more stages a boss has, the more rewards he drops. When slain, all boss stages are shown in the boss bar. Before each stage, the boss is immune. He's preparing a special attack and cannot be stopped. Okay. Just now, but oops, I need to move further away, please. Oof, it's just gonna keep spawning these guys. Okay, a bit further back so I can get this, uh, get that guy. Wait, is there no health for me anywhere? Did I get him? Oof. That was a little scary, but we got him. Oh, health is over here. Notice the footprints you leave behind. They show the direction you came from and mark the places you visited. Golden footprints mean a corridor has been fully visited. 
Ah, normal footprints partially visited. No footprints, you haven't been there yet. Minimap will help you track all the points of it. That's so clever and so useful. Let's heal up. What's that? Is that just gold? Oh, I was really hoping for some goodies. Nice. Well, I'll take that. Health potion rapidly regenerates hard points on use. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Okay, that's now gold as well because that's fully explored. Level clear. Click. Okay, so I can just click that one. Nice. Wait. If I want to go back to town, how do I do that? That's cool. And if I click there, does it take me? Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's let's head back to town then. And huh, I just hovered on it, and then that worked. Okay, so this must be Thank the healer. Thank heavens for hearing my prayers and sending us a champion of light. I shall aid you in your struggle to the best of my limited abilities. Come to me should you need remedies for ailments of body or soul. Yet you should remember it is no small task to face the legions of evil. You must shield yourself with faith. There is no better protection against darkness. If you allow yourself to falter, you shall become defenseless and even risk losing your immortal soul. I saw what happened to those who went astray in their spiritual vocation and... Oh, no, it's better not to dwell on such things lest darkness overcome us. Fair enough. Death Rage. Recharges with level up and after reaching level cap can be recharged here for gold. Greetings, traveler. People call me the fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself, <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good but simple people and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his wit, not to mention his social skills, are clearly dulled by age. <laughs> We're all lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless. Oh, there's next gossip. Cards are my specialty. They represent a novel approach to magic, offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spellcasting. Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? This is so Middle Ages. <laughs> no wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with... <laughs> My help, at a reasonable price. Just like with playing cards, the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage. Um, she reminds me of the Enchantress in... Uh, what is she called the Enchantress? In Diablo 3, and it's very interesting that her fingers are basically looks like playing cards. Uh, let me see if there's something else here. Ooh, upgrade card. Charge card. Okay, rapidly. So, 
so I have to spend a hundred coins to charge that back up once I use it, I guess. Interesting. So, fuse runes. Okay, there's lots of interesting stuff in here, mechanics from what I can see, so I'm... Few color me fascinated. Souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is the realm where the dead rest, or at least should be resting. Countless warriors, men of the cloth, mages, and even kings of old were buried there with troves of gold and gems. But the dead are now restless. Quickened by some unholy powers, they are haunting the corridors like wild animals, and their courage, virtue, and talents have been replaced with mindless violence. Any their painful existence will be an act of mercy if you ask me. So I guess this little icon on the top right means that they have something new to say. And this... So is this mean... We haven't met that beast yet, but we met the zombies. Uh, I never thought I'd say this, but compared to other dwellers of the underground, this is just a plain old walking skeleton. Where are the zombies? Zombies are not shown here for some reason. Oh, so that's the beast, Jerry, with the sage. I've been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft. And I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing, and it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about. So there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic any time you want, but the process will get more expensive each time. Third, if monsters slay you in the dungeons, the potion will weaken. It's because I'm making them just for you, so they have to be magically linked to your essence. Interesting. So, uh, I mix the great, um, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic anytime you want, but the process will get more expensive each time. So each time I use a potion, it gets more expensive. So that, I guess, is the RPG mechanic of everything gets more expensive as you get more and more powerful. So it just works a little bit differently. But each time you die, they get weaker as well. So each time you die, it gets more expensive, which is also interesting. Okay, so I think that's all of the conversation pieces, and that's the leveling up. I've got one unspent one, but I can exchange them after you exchange levels of level up, exchange level of points for hearts to make your character withstand more damage or for more mana. Since I don't know which I'll need more, I will distribute it later. And I will also call that. Oh wait, is why is no, there a? Can see your future oh, is, is that because grim. of the charge card? Wait, does this mean? Okay, let me try charging it. Okay, so I can charge it so it has three uses now. What is its? I'll try. Okay, I can have a maximum of four. Okay, that is actually really helpful to know. We'll call that the end of this episode. We've gone and explored a couple of levels and the next one we'll keep going. Thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you again next time.